have you ever found an SVG file that you really liked, but it wasn't 100% what you're looking for? Well, today I'm going to show you six different ways that you can change up your SVG files in Cricut Design Space. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. And if you're interested in crafting and Cricut tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's jump over to the computer and get started. So I have this cute design here that I got from Design Bundles, but you can use whatever design you want. But if you like this design and you're interested in it, I will leave it linked down below in the description. You'll notice that this design has a whole pile of different layers. You can see them over here in the layers panel. Some designs you work with may just have one layer and some may have more than 20. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing I wanna change about this design is the number of layers that it has. I want my pumpkins to be looking a little more realistic so I don't want a plaid pumpkin or an animal print pumpkin. And you'll also notice that this whole image here is grouped together. So that just means I can move it around the screen as one image, but nothing here is really attached. But in order to work with each of the separate layers, we do need to ungroup our image. So let's go up to the top hand side and click on ungroup. And so to remove this plaid layer, you can either click on it here in the layers panel, or you can just put your mouse on top and click that layer. And then I'm just going to click on delete on my keyboard. And now that layer is gone. And now if we go over to the animal print pumpkin and I click on that, you'll notice there's two layers on top of the pumpkin. So we got this light brown layer and then we also have this black layer. So I'm just going to delete both of these layers. And now our pumpkins are looking a little more natural, except for we have a purple pumpkin. So the second way you can change your SVG design is by changing the color of your image. So I'm going to select this purple layer and we're going to go up to the top and I'm just going to change it to a color of one of the other pumpkins. So let's do this peach here. And so now we further change our design again. And so now I find our pumpkins here are looking a little plain now that I've removed our checks in our animal print. So we're going to add a little something to it. We're going to add an offset. Now each of these layers here are separate. So our stems are separate from our pumpkin layers. And so if I were to do an offset by clicking on one of these layers, the offset would just go around that layer. But I want an offset around that entire pumpkin image. So I'm going to select all the pumpkins here, including the stems. I'm not selecting the text. So I'm just dragging my mouse over top. And you'll see in the layers panel, everything that is grayed out has been selected. And now you don't wanna press attach, but I'm going to show you what happens when you do. So if you press attach, everything becomes the same color. And so now this is just one image, but it's all the same color and we don't want that. So I'm going to press undo at the top and I'm going to select all those pumpkins again. And instead of attaching everything, we're just going to group it all together again. So back to the top, we're going to press group. And now we're going to go up to offset. And you'll notice when I did that, we have this blue line going around our entire grouped image. And so right now the offset is at 0.25 and I find that a little thick. So I'm going to make it thinner. So I'm going to drag this dot towards the center. And I'm now at 0.097 and I'm going to press apply. And now that's created a beautiful black offset around the whole image. And I find that really makes our pumpkins pop out a whole lot more. And it looks fabulous. And you'll also notice in the layers panel here that we have a new layer, which is our black offset. So this just adds some depth and dimension to our SVG. So now we've changed this file three different ways. We changed the color, we removed pieces of it, and we've created an offset. A fourth way we can change this is by changing our text. So I live in Canada. People don't say it's fall y'all. We say a a whole lot more than we say y'all. So I'm going to get rid of this text. Maybe if you're from the South and you say y'all a lot, go ahead and keep it. But I'm going to change our text. Now, one thing you can't do is go and click on your text and edit it. And that's because our text is part of the SVG file. It's not actually written text. 
So your computer sees your text as an image, not as something to type out. So we're going to delete our text. You can either click on delete on your keyboard or go up to the top right and click delete. And then you can go ahead and add your own text. Keep in mind it probably won't be the same text style that the original SVG was written in because you may not have the same font that the SVG creator had used. So I'm going to type in fall is my favorite. And yes, in Canada, we spell favorite with a U. So I'm going to shrink this down here and just change the text. So I'm going to go up to font. I'm going to grab one of my system fonts here and I think I'll choose a little sunshine. So there is our new text. Usually when you type in text on Design Space, it automatically is gray. So you can go up to the top and change that color as well. And I'm going to make that black. And you don't even have to keep your text at the bottom of your design. You can go ahead and put the pumpkins below it. We can grab our text and put it on top. And if you wanted to, another way you could change this is curve your text. So if you go over to curve and you can curve your text down and we've just created a whole new SVG. So let's go ahead and pull up what it looked like before. I saved a duplicate copy so you can see. So here it is over here. So here is our original SVG file, and this is what we turned it into. So you can see how playing around with your designs, you can create something completely different. Now I promised you six different ways to change up your SVG files. So we're going to grab another image here. So I'm going to hide these ones and I'm going to pull up this simple pumpkin here. So how are we going to change this? You'll notice here on the right hand side under our layers column, we only have three different layers for this image, but that's okay, we can still change it up. So first I'm going to ungroup our pumpkin and let's say you didn't want this leaf on top. So if I were to click on this green layer here, you'll notice that each piece of our green layer is attached together. So this squiggly line is not separate from this squiggly line over here. Everything is one layer. So to get rid of this leaf, we can't just click on it and press delete because we would be removing the whole green layer. So we're going to go down to contour and all you have to do is click on that leaf and then we're going to press the X and our leaf is gone. So the fifth way you can change an SVG is by contouring your image. Now, let's say you want to put some text going through your pumpkin, but you didn't want your text actually touching the pumpkin itself. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We are going to go over to the left-hand side and grab a shape. We're going to grab the square and we need to unlock our square so that we can stretch it out into a rectangle. So if you go up to size between the width and the height, and click on that unlock box. And then we're going to stretch our square out over top of our pumpkin until it's a long rectangle. And then place it where you want your words to be cut out of. So I think this looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is slice this rectangle out of the pumpkin. Now, one thing to know is that you can only slice two layers at a time. And thankfully, our pumpkin is all one layer. It's not multiple layers. So we're going to select a rectangle and the orange pumpkin layer. We're going to go down to the bottom right and click on slice. So now we're going to remove these extra layers that we'll have. So I'm going to pull this down here. So we have this layer, we've got this layer and we have this layer and we don't need any of these extra layers anymore so you can go ahead and delete all those layers and now we have a little hole going through our pumpkin and then we can go ahead and grab some text and let's type out October and then you can go ahead and put that right inside your pumpkin. Now it kind of looks a little incomplete. So let's add some lines above the word October and below. So once again, we're going to grab our shape. We're going to get that square. We're going to unlock our square and we are going to adjust this to be a super, super skinny rectangle. So you can make it as 
thick or thin as you'd like and as short or long as you like. So once you're happy with the size, you're going to place it right beneath that pumpkin edge and then we're going to duplicate that line. So go up to the top and press duplicate. Let's bring this down. But we also want everything to be centered. So I'm going to select our first line. I'm going to hold down my shift key, select October, and then I'm also going to select this bottom rectangle as well. I'm going to go up to the top under align. We are going to center this horizontally, and then I'm going to attach all these layers together. So at the bottom right, click on attach. All right, so now we have a cute little October monogram. It's not completely centered. So I'm going to select the green layer, the stem, and our pumpkin. I'm going to go to the top and group that together so that all moves as one image. And so now we have two separate groups. We have our October and the lines, and then we have our pumpkin. So now I'm going to select everything all together, go up to align and center horizontally, and now everything is centered as it should be. Now let's say you only wanted a single layer SVG instead of all these different layers. So right now I've got four different layers. We've got the gray, we've got the orange, the brown, and the green. Once again, we're going to select everything and we're going to go up to the top by operation. We're going to change the color to black. So now everything looks the same, but we still have separate layers, even though they're all the same color. So what we're going to do is select everything again. We're going to go over to the bottom right and click attach. And now when you go to cut this out, this is going to cut out all as one image, except for one thing. And it's hard to show you when the image is black. So let's make it all orange for a second. If we zoom in here, our Cricut machine is going to cut out this line here separate from the pumpkin. There will be a cut line going over this pumpkin. So if you don't want that cut line, you'll have to go down and press weld. And now you can see that cut line is gone and our line here has been welded to the rest of our pumpkin. So it'll cut out all the way around instead of slicing right through the center. Just one thing to note, once you weld something and you've saved your image, you cannot undo it. Right now I can undo it because I haven't saved it. I can just click the undo button here. But if I click on my image, you cannot unweld something that has been welded. So one thing I like to do is often duplicate my image before I weld it. So let's undo the weld for a second and I'm going to select this image. We're going to press duplicate. So now I have two copies. I can go ahead and hide that. Maybe down the road I want to put September there instead of October. And now I can go ahead and weld this. And if I ever want to make any changes, I won't be changing this one, but I can find my other image here and then we can detach the image and then we can go ahead and edit the word October if we want to change that. So let's go ahead now and see what our original image looked like which I saved a copy of. So we just took this simple SVG here and we completely transformed it into this one over here. So there's just so many ways you can change SVGs and have fun with it and be as creative as you want. I hope you learned something new today and if you're interested in more Cricut Design Space tutorials, go check out this playlist and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.